Okay. You guys look good. That's all that matters. All right. Oh, we're live. Yes. Hi. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome to day two of Laser Maker Con. These Ooh. live panels. Yeah. Right. These you. live panels. These live panels have been like on fire. Like they're almost. Uh, our speakers have incredible presentations, but these panels have been like a favorite of mine. They've been so much fun. If you're just joining us, let us know where you're joining us from. And uh, let us know, were you part of the panels yesterday? Did you enjoy them? Were they not amazing? It's not just me. Let me hear it from you guys. Okay, so let's let's give you a little run through of what to expect the rest of today. Today, um, we have about seven lessons that have gone live. You should have gotten an email with links to all of our amazing presenters, okay? Their lessons are incredible. Make sure you catch them. You have 24 hours if you have the free pass to watch them all. And today we have four panels. Again, we're here right now with my favorite rotary company on the planet, Lens Digital. You're gonna meet them in just a minute. Uh, we have a design panel at 12 o'clock. We have um, a demo with MakerFlow at 3 p.m. And then we have a software panel at 6 p.m. We've got stuff going on all day long. Now, if you did not know who these amazing people are, they're gonna introduce themselves, but I've gotta give you guys a little bit of the backstory. Okay, and if you have a pie burn, if you are a pie burner and you know how awesome their, their equipment is, please let us know in the comments. Uh, we give them some love because Len over there and Stan, these guys are amazing. And I got to tell you about, I would I don't know, it's been maybe four years or so, my friends, that we have been, uh, you know, working together. And I got to tell you, yes. I never knew. Oh, look, Shannon woke up at 8.59. Perfect timing. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Um, let me get back here too. Okay, so when I started my own laser journey, guys, I had no idea that I'd become this thing called laser famous, you know, like what is that, right? And all these companies all of a sudden wanted to work with me and they were just flooding my inbox and overwhelming me because it just felt like they looked at me like I was a piece of meat, you know? They're like, here's our product, show it to everybody. I was like, no, get away from me. Lens Digital, I have to say this because I always tell you guys, you hear me say that People do business with people they know, like, and trust. And all these people reached out to me. I didn't know them. I didn't like them. I didn't trust them. And Lens Digital was the first company to reach out to me and say, hey, Emily, we're so appreciative for everything we see you doing in the laser world. We would love to send you our product. They didn't ask. They didn't demand. They didn't put any expectations on me. <laughs> and here's the kicker. I told them, look, I don't share anything with my people if I don't love it. So I would love to try your product, but I can't give you any guarantees that I'm going to share it unless I can be confident with it. And they're like, it's okay. We just, we, it, if you love it, it will speak for itself. We're just grateful for everything that you have done in this industry. And that's the kind of, that's the kind of customer service that they provide to everybody. It's in the language, it's in their culture. So for me, not only do they have a phenomenal product that speaks for itself, because the moment I opened it up, I was like, where has this thing been my, my whole life? Because I had tried all of the rotaries on the market, the best ones. They were not the best ones. This was the best one. It spoke for themselves. So it is my sincere pleasure and honor that you guys are a sponsor uh, for the Laser Maker Con. If you're not familiar with LensDigital.com, make sure you go visit them. And Len and Stan, please uh, take a moment and introduce, himself, introduce yourselves. Emily, that was amazing. Yes. Thank you so much for that, your, for your kind words, for your for your um, for your partnership throughout the years. I I could not have said this better myself, but it's a real treat when you find someone that you're so philosophically aligned with, just on every aspect on how we, you want to help your community succeed. Right, that's the point of our company too. How we care about the journey so much that. We lose sleep at night when someone is having trouble with it, with with um, not just our equipment, but just their laser. Like something's not going right. It bothers us deeply. So that care is something that we share with you. And I was attracted to that right away. And we've been blessed to have you as a partner. And we hope that we will be partners for many, many years to come. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having us be involved in this conference, which is an amazing, amazing movement, something that the industry really needs. Um, we're your biggest fans and we're proud supporters for for many many years to come so yeah so my name is my name is stan i'm a partner at lens digital um i've been with the company for quite for quite a while now almost for as long as you have emily 
for, for, for almost four years. Um, but I've known Len for, for almost 20 years. So we've been really pers close personal friends for decades. And um, the way I got started with this company is I saw this piece of equipment and I read the reviews and I realized that Len has got something really amazing. And I thought I wanted to help him out with, you know, just building a community, building the partnerships, um, you know, our partnerships with laser brands like Ian Laser um, and getting the word out. So that's kind of my role at Lens Digital. Um, and I'll let I'll let Len introduce himself because he this is the real brains behind the equipment that everybody loves and uses all the time. He is the designer and the inventor, and he he actually holds now multiple patents. We just got another one published two days ago, uh, and I, I I'd like to, I'd like for him to talk a little bit about his journey too. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, my name is Len. I started uh, Lens Digital probably over ten years ago, but um, Really, things really kicked off with the uh, introduction of the pie burn, which was, as Stan mentioned, about four years ago. Um, yeah, I've been uh, I've been tinkering with things, uh, inventing stuff. I, I just I just like to make stuff, basically. Yeah, so I guess that it's been it's been a real really nice journey for me too, because uh, since uh, Stan came aboard, things just kicked off really nicely. Yeah, we have uh, now we have um, we have pie burn, we have grip, we have various. Um, laser uh, tools uh, yeah as Stan mentioned uh, we finally got a few patents issued yeah the latest one for the grip uh, was finally published those take a long time yeah. a lot of work a lot of legal um, you you know you go through a lot but at the end it's all worth it um, and so yeah so like Len the reason why these products are so go so good and I think they strike a chord in the industry is because Len started with Len started the product development backwards from what the users, what the makers really, really want, not from like, let's see what's out there and let's tinker with it and improve it. But what, what is the experience missing? Like, how can we make the journey of the makers better and easier? And the, he just completely built something completely brand new that just didn't exist. And that was the Piber. Now there's many other similar, you know, tools now out there. But you know, I just want to say that Lens was was the really, <laughs> truly, truly the first one. Yeah, usually, and, usually I build things for myself because I'm gonna use it. So I want to make it uh, the best possible product there out there, and then I, um, you know, I make a product actually out of it. And he's fun to work with too. He cares about the makers so much. We personally respond. So we, we do have help. Obviously, Heather is on our team. She's amazing. She runs the affiliate program. Um, we have um, Don who. Um, who's really, really good on tech support. He's at Pyburn Labs group, so find him and ask him any questions. But um, we are also personally involved on a very deeply personal level. People message me on my Facebook. I don't mind that. Sometimes I'll tell them, hey, I can't answer this question. Please file a ticket most of the time because I'm not that smart. I don't know the technical aspects of it. But um, we are still personally involved. If there's something I could do to help, we bend over backwards to help. Len is personally answering tech support questions. He's personally personally on the Facebook uh, Facebook groups because this business is personal to us. We want to yep. be a part of the community. We want to be among you guys because we're just like you. We're makers just like you. Um, so that's that's why we love this business. Um, it's it's more than just obviously selling, selling um, gadgets for us. It's much more than that. Yeah, for me, it's really important because, you know, especially I have so many wonderful, loyal followers and they, they really depend on what I, I share with them. And for me, it's not just about having a great product. It's really knowing that you have a great product match with impeccable customer service. I need to know that my people are going to be taken care of. And with Lens Digital, I know that without, without a shadow of a doubt. So let's go. They've got something really, they've got a great treat in store for us. So what we're going to do is I, I'm starring your comments and questions as I see them, but they have a lot of great stuff to show us today. So I want to let them jump right into that. And then at the end, we'll do the Q&A. Okay, so try to hold your questions for me because I'm going to have a hard time finding them at the top of the chat. <laughs> okay, so I, well, hold on a minute, gentlemen. As sponsors of the Laser Maker Con, it's my understanding that you guys not only have a show special, but you also have an amazing giveaway. Can you tell everybody what that giveaway is? So we've never done anything like it before. Um, this is pretty special. <laughs> so we're we're really really excited 
to give away um, to the winner the not released fifth generation of the Pyburn that we're going to show to you on this show right now. So it's the fifth generation Pyburn V5, and it is beautiful. So if you guys have followed our company along, we've been kind of releasing a new version almost every year, maybe every year and a half. Um, we took really, we took our time with this one because it was no offense, but it was hard to improve on the Pyburn V4. It is a really, really nice yeah. rotary. So it took a lot of probing, a lot of listening to our customers and a lot of pulling out, like what can we improve about the experience with a, with a rotary? Um, because, you know, people would just say, it's great. There's nothing you can improve. Just leave it forever. So it took a lot of probing like, let me see you do that again. So, right. Um, and now we're super excited to, to, to announce that we have the, the new generation of products, including the Pyburn V5 and including the Grip 2.0 that are being released um, very, very soon. We're going to take pre-orders in just a few weeks. We're going to start shipping them in the fall. But to this lucky winner that we're going we're gonna to announce, this lucky winner is going to be one of the very first people to get their hands on the V5. And you do not need to worry. The thing works flawlessly. <laughs> it's not like this is a beta product. This is, this is already out of beta. The grip is still in beta. The Pyburn V5 is out of beta. It is production ready. We're gearing up. We think, we think that a lot of makers are going to get them and they're going to love them. And you are going to be the first one to have it. So it's pretty special. I, you know, this is another thing. You're going to see this as a theme, especially with the companies that I choose to partner with, that they are innovators in the field. They're the OGs. They're, they're, they just have that special thing that you can't really... You can't really pinpoint it or have a name for it, but it's something special. And that that's what you have with Lens Digital, okay? Uh, Len is always innovating and, and leading uh, leading the field. And so uh, it's exciting to see you guys do that and be a part of that journey with you guys. So I'm ready to see this V5. If you haven't entered that giveaway, you get your, get your sure. laser pushing over to the give, giveaway site and put it for it. And let's get ready. To rumble, let's go. You guys definitely want to enter because you want a chance to win this thing. All right, Len, can we have the camera on the V5, please? Yeah, we are. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? Well, the microphone is there. The microphone so. is there. Okay, so I'm going to, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk and you're going to show them the new features, okay? Okay. All right. So, can everybody hear me and can everybody see the, um, the lens hands on the Pyburn V5. Oh yeah, you guys are beautifully clear. You know what, I'm gonna take myself off the screen so we can get an even closer look, okay? Oh, perfect, yep, now I see it, now I see it zoomed in, wonderful. So this is the Pyburn V5, you guys, our fifth generation of the best roller rotary on the planet. There's many improvements and we're gonna go through them and we're actually gonna demonstrate them to you. So I think, the really, really important one, the one that, hey, how can we improve on the V4 is this linear guide rail. There's a couple of things that this linear guide rail allows you to do. First of all, it makes the adjustment of the length of the tumbler even more effortless. One-handed, smooth lever adjustment makes it super, super fast to lock your back wheels in place guide them on a linear rail and, and adjust them and lock them in place again. One-handed operation, no more thumb screw. It is just so user-friendly. The other thing that this linear rail does is it eliminates the need to ever need to align the rotary. So you don't need to worry about aligning the motor to your back wheels, the clamp to your back wheels. You don't need to worry about that. Why? If you notice, the wheels are gone, the V-slot wheels that the that the cradle that the carriage was on, they're gone. They're replaced by the linear rail. So there's no more unwanted movement in that tower. And there is no more shifting of the motor or of the back wheels. So now all those variables are gone. You don't need to align the rotary. It just it's just a one solid piece of equipment there. You'll also notice the really, really nice, um, completely redesigned back lift. So Len, if you show them how the lift mechanism works, it is so slim and slender. It's extremely easy to use. It's very, very fine. It, it is, it is self-locking. 
So the, the wheels are not going to go down once you lock once you once you get, find the position that you need and you level that tumbler. And it's much higher range, you guys. So for the lower profile machines, for, for, the, for, for the lower Z travel machines, it can go super low, almost to the floor, and then it can go super, super high as well. So there it is. The wheels are at the floor, and then it goes super, super high as well. So giving you that extra range for the really crazy items, really covering a, a wide range of, you know, really tapered tumblers, wine glasses, champagne flutes, stuff like that. All also easy to use. Positions. Don't know about three positions on the so if you do want to use, some, if you want to engrave something like a jug with a very narrow head and a really, really wide body, something really extreme that usually the regular roller rotaries don't do, this has three positions. So if you show them, Len, with just your finger, yeah. you can actually increase the range of motion further by lifting up the wheels higher or lower. It's unlikely you're going to need to do that a lot, but we just wanted to give you that flexibility if you have a really weird kind of odd-shaped odd item. Just want you to have that uh, flexibility. Now, the wheel end, it's really cool. It's been completely redesigned. The wheels are... Um, Look at, zoom in, in the wheel. Can you zoom in, in the wheels? Can you guys notice the big difference with the wheels? There's no O-rings. There's not an O-ring to be found on this rotary. And why? Well, this is one of those things where we kept asking our customers, what can we improve? Tell us, you know, we want to just really, really interrogate you and, and tell me what we can improve on this rotary. And they said, you know what? I'll tell you, Stan. Sometimes the O-rings fall off. And I'll tell you more. The O-rings, the way they're designed, they have a very, very small point of friction. They're circular. So the friction that's going to happen with the cup happens all the way at the top of the O-ring. So you get a, not enough friction, actually. We throw away the O-rings and we make a custom tire. So we call these Pyburn tires. So now these custom wheels come with a, with a tire that is just sits in place. It ain't going to move. It's not going to fall off during shipping. You're not going to have to worry about replacing it and doing anything. And the most important thing is it's got tons of surface area, right? It's, it's, it's maybe like 10 times more surface area than you get with the tip of the O-ring. So now you increase the friction and the rotary becomes even more precise. It's going to give you even more peace of mind. Um, this, 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 this rotary, along with the clamp, the redesigned clamp, this rotary, we think it can now do full wraps on, with some cups. It is that precise. It is pretty awesome. Very, very convinced that this is the best roller rotary in the market. Um, the clamp, do you want to talk a little bit about the clamp? Just a little bit? Completely redesigned. Okay. Um, I just want to see, this is, people are on fire if you can't see. I keep showing their comments. Can you see them? Because I want to make sure that you can see how excited people are about this. And I thought what I'll do is I'll put, we have some questions. People really want to know, is this compatible with, they're thinking it's only compatible with Eons, but that's not true. Can you let them know? Like they want to know if it may, might work on their lasers. Oh no, actually we're expanding our compatibility. So this rotary is becoming more and more compatible with almost any laser in the world. And we're talking boss. Eon Laser, Thunder Laser, all, all the Ohm Techs, all the Ohm Tech machines, the Laguna machines. And we're we're even in talks with some other laser companies that have traditionally kept their system closed, meaning they won't work with Lightburn and they won't work with this and with that. And they have their own rotary. And those rotaries cost five thousand or three thousand dollars, and they're not as good as the Pyburn. Thunder it works with Thunder, yes. So now we're talking even to those companies and saying, guys. Your makers want flexibility. Your customers want to be able to do more things. Open it up. Open it up. Don't be like Apple closed system. Be like, what is it? Android. Open it up. Let other, you know, let other people have machinery that's compatible with your lasers. So we're getting there. But Laguna works, of course. Thunder, we've been compatible. We're great partners with Thunder Laser Canada. Really, really great team over there. Um, so yes, it is compatible. And boss, this is absolutely compatible with boss. Well, let me so tell does, you, they, they want to see this baby in action. Are you going to show it in action too? Yes. So it does fit any okay. laser. So the lasers that are small, the lasers that are smaller, all we do is we give you a smaller, uh, rail there. I think someone asked, does it fit all lasers? And we, we just give you a small rail and you drop it in for the thunders. For the Thunders, this rotary will come with a specific drop-down harness. Am I saying it right, Len? Yep. 
drop down harness. The, all you do is you plug it in and you get a smaller rail so it'll fit in the bolt, which is a really popular laser right now. Um, so somebody said so you, don't, you don't have to remove the handle? Did, nope. did you say that? No. Yeah, you don't have to remove the handle. You don't right? have to remove Stop the it. Do you see the innovation right here? Do you see how they listened to us? They already had a phenomenal product and they told themselves, no, we can make it even better. I love you guys. Okay, I'm going, I'm getting out of So what, what else can we talk about? The gear reduction. The gear reduction. You guys, this rotary is even more precise than the V4. Almost double. Why is that? We went ahead and we pushed the limits. We increased the gear, redu gear ratio reduction. So what that means is that the rotary takes finer steps. The, the rotary makes finer steps each and every single pulse that it gets from the laser. So now think about the most intricate, crazy, fine line designs that sometimes wouldn't be as clear on a regular rotary, even such a beautiful rotary as a Pyburn V4. This one will literally push your laser to the limit. You will be limited just by the laser, right? Not the rotary at all. This thing is super, super precise. So it's two, it's 2x more precise than the Pyburn V4. About is that right? Yeah. Or, or 2.3. Yeah, so this this gear reduction, you can actually see it with your own eyes. Go ahead, time out. Time out. Okay, because I got I saw this question. I was I've got to point this out. Remember how I said there are innovations and in leaders? For the record, Pyburn has always included a leveler with their rotary, and they were the first company to ever do that. All right. So just you know, tipping my hat <laughs> off to you because uh, I those are it's to me. I always say this to you guys, um, especially when you choose to invest your hard earned money in equipment. Um, it's the little things. It's the little things that little, I, I would not have thought to get a leveler when I was brand new, but they did that for me. They took away that anxiety for me. I love you guys for that. And, and yeah, so, so it, it happened, it, it happened literally exactly, exactly. As you say, we're, we're, we're leveling a cup and we're like, I wish we had a leveler. Do your customers wish they had a leveler? Yeah. I wish we yes. didn't leveler. And you know, and, and, and you still get that. You, you still get the gummy bears too. So we're still going to be I'm getting gummy bears. They get, they get mad if they don't get their gummy bears. It's also a thing. Like you get gummy bears. And and they were also the first to get gummy bears. I understand others give out gummy bears too. Okay. To, to be fair, with the level, I'll, I'll take the credit. To be very, very fair, the gummy bears, we got the idea from the 3D printer called Prusa. They included gummy bears. And we're like, we, they, because, because, oh, if you remember, Emily, way back when we sent you that rotary, you had to assemble it. Do you remember? It, it didn't come assembled like it does now. So during I, was, assembly, I, I, had, I had a I had that like anxiety the analysis paralysis. I was scared to assemble it. I did it, but this goes to not, show how they continuously work to lower your anxiety to make your user experience. You did it, but not only did you do it, you crushed it. We watched that video that you took like several times, and Len was like, "Wait, she put that together like." better than me. How did that happen? I'm like, I don't know. Emily is, um, Emily is just good like that. And then we started doing, you, you, you had some sort of trick where you held the, 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 the screwdriver in one hand and, and, and you just, you just made it happen. Do you remember that? I, I still have that video. So now you don't have to, you don't have to worry about assembly. The, the, the thing comes fully assembled, but we kept the tradition of the gummy bears because the idea was while you're doing the assembly, you can have a gummy bear to make yourself feel better. So there's no assembly now, but there's still gummy bears. So you get the best of both worlds. Tony's wife ate gummy bears. All right, awesome. So I think those are the major improvements. There's many little things as well that are going on behind the scenes that you don't see, but all the major things that make our lives easier, we we kind of talk them through it. And now, do you do you guys want to see us um, engrave this thing with a handle and see how it goes? Let's go! Yes. What kind of question is that? Like, to to okay, I'm gonna come. Uh, okay, got it. All right, cut. Great. So he's Len is gonna give me the easy job, and he's gonna take the hard job. So he is going to uh, Len. What do I do? Because now it's an empty table. Yeah. So we're gonna switch to here. Uh, we're gonna what switch to the warehouse. Yeah. So that is that is. No, I just say this is the time. To, to lens techiness because the fact that there's two, that you're there and I see the laser is crazy. <laughs> I wish I could figure that out. That's cool. Um, 
So we will fly over there and do that for you for sure. That'll be that'll be a great honor for us to do. It'll be fun too. So yeah, so we we have our camera in the warehouse and it's pointed at our awesome Ian uh, laser Mira 7. We use this laser literally, guys, all the time. It doesn't miss a beat and it's just a really, really good machine. It's um it's it's become our our go-to really with rotary work. And with other work too, it's it's a really versatile machine. Uh, so right now we have that in the warehouse. Len's got it um, powered up. And what he did is he took the uh, V5, bringing it over to the warehouse. Sorry, He's back. Um, Len, uh, uh, people, now I'm assuming that you don't have to remove the handle, at least when you're doing like a front facing design, but when you're doing a full wrap, you still have to remove it because you want to engrave underneath that hand, right? That's what people are asking. Oh, so yeah, yeah, right, right. That's yeah. that's that's absolutely true. That's just physics because the laser head doesn't bend at all. The laser head just goes straight. It's on a gantry. So if you want to engrave where the handle is, you're going to remove the handle. So the Stanleys, some people don't like removing the handles from the Stanley cups. Um, and some people do and some people don't. Obviously, if you wanted to do a full wrap, you're going to have to remove it. Um, and, you know, you need a, you need a special tool to get under the under the handle and undo the little screw. So we have another question here, Jewel. She wants to know, Jewel wants to know, what is the purpose of the grip? You want to take that one? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a fantastic question. That's a fantastic question. So we launched the grip uh, about two years ago, almost two years ago. Now in November, it'll be two years. The reason why we built the grip was so that there is absolutely no slipping on mugs with heavy handles. So on a mug such as this, where the handle is a very low percentage point uh, percent uh, part of the whole cup, you don't really need to worry about slipping because the cup is heavy enough to for, for the handle not to matter. But if you're doing a beer stein, have you ever seen that those big beer steins with the really big heavy handle? Or there are some mugs that are really, really heavy, have heavy handles, even the Stanley, the 40 ounce. So if you're going to do that, that's not going to be a problem on the V5, but on the V4, because of those O-rings, remember, there's not enough friction. There's not enough surface area. We wanted to eliminate the worry for you at all that it's ever going to slip. So that was the number one reason why we did the grip. The grip works like a vice. It doesn't work on the, on the, on the principle of friction. It literally captures the item and holds it tightly from three different angles. Whereas on a pie burn, on a roller, even the V5, you're still relying on friction. It's a great rotary, but you're still relying on friction between the wheel and your object. So, so that is the main reason. And number two reason is the full wraps, you guys, full wraps. So the full wraps, I highly st still, V5, amazing rotary. It'll get you through 99% of what you need to do. But for the full wraps, I will still recommend the grip. Why? Because a tiny hair of, you know, a tiny hair of a slip, a tiny little, tiny, tiny little error will matter when you look at the seam where the designs are supposed to meet. So what we tell people sometimes when they're starting out with, with full wraps, go for like one of those easy seamless designs that, that are more forgiving, that kind of overlap, if you know what I mean. Emily, you might be able to describe this better because you have some great, great ones where, where it's more forgiving to, uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, you know, to the maker if, if you make them. The, the ones that you need to match up perfectly, you absolutely need to get it nail it perfect right so that's why we got the grip yeah. too yeah so like having your for rotation in perfectly that's what's going to help you create that seamless wrap if you're trying to do that right so the fact that this is even more precise is going to help with that you know yeah. um we everybody wants to know do we have an official release date for this baby yes yeah, so we are starting pre-orders in about three weeks so so middle of august we're starting pre-orders and we're ah, going to, okay. yeah, so it's soon. It's close. It's close. We're going to ship out um, the first Fiber and V5 to, to the lucky winner today. We're going to ship them out most likely in September, um, some, most likely in September, um, maybe closer to the end of September. Well, well, the lucky winner is it today. You have to enter the giveaway, right? We're not announcing the winner until tomorrow night, right? But we, if you are active in the chat, hint, hint, you might get a prize today. Um, and then another question is, what is, um, I'm sorry, where can you go to see which machines a Pyburn is compatible with? I'm assuming it's somewhere on the site. Is that right? 
Yes. Yeah, so it's so at lensdigital.com, we go through the laser brands. There's a Q&A. There's like a, a Q&A section, which goes through all the compatible machines. So if you have a machine of like that's a known laser brand, most likely it is compatible. And then there are some exceptions, which we list. And if you have a no brand laser, so if you have, let's say you have a laser that you bought from eBay or Amazon, um, or you bought a laser and it's, and it's kind of, they used to call them generic Chinese lasers. A lot of them are ohm tech machines now. Um, you, we can still wire your rotary. So don't, don't be, don't be sad that you have a machine that doesn't have a brand name on it. We can still work with you, but that will just require a little bit back and forth because what you'll need to do is you'll need to give us the pinout. Now, the good thing is all of this is really easy. It's, there's a step-by-step -step process in the support page. So if you go to Pyburn, um, if you go to Lens Digital and hit, and hit support, I got the level. It shows you, it shows you literally how to get us the information we need to wire, um, to wire you the rotary. And the, 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 cu the custom wiring is not a lot. It's not very expensive. It's like an extra 15 bucks. So we keep it really, really affordable. Okay. So if you go to the website, go to lensdigital.com, you can confirm which rotary it's compatible with. But the good news is, is that it's compatible with a lot. I'm sorry, which laser it's compatible with. It's compatible with a ton of lasers. Um, so it is a lot of compatible with Monport, someone just asked. So that's a yes. Okay. Uh, are we allowed to ask the price point on this baby? Because everybody's asking. They want to save up. <laughs> you're, 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 you're allowed to ask. I don't know if I can answer. <laughs> no, you're certainly allowed okay. to ask. So, so, so look, the price point, we don't have an exact price right now, but it's only a couple of weeks until you find out. Um, we're getting close to the price. We're, we're really still working it out. It is not going to break the bank. So the, so the Pyburn V5 is going to be a little bit more expensive than the V4, but it is not going to be terribly more expensive. We're not talking about a different level of pricing. What I will say is that the grip too will be much more expensive. That I will tell you. Well, you gotta, we always say you got to price things right, right? Value your worth. And this is innovation right here leading the way. All right. Is there a, a laser con? There is a show special. Can you share the show special? Oh, but uh, not yeah. the people, but, okay. Sorry? Uh, is there a know. show special? So, uh, yeah, you tell me. I think we, we do we do have something, Emily, but um, that's up to you when you want to when you want to tell everybody that coupon, right? Oh, we've already it, it it's already released on 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 the site. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. So that's well, the show okay. special. Yeah. So if you go. Um, <clears throat> we have announced it in a couple of places and it should be on the giveaway site. But as if you are a registered LMC person, I'm not going to put it here because this is also going to go up on YouTube, right? Um, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, now I got you. Good, good. Okay, good. There, there is a code for you. Uh, so make sure you are checking your emails because there's a show special right now that you can leverage and it's $100 off, right? Yes, of, exactly. Of, of any on the site. All right. Awesome. Yes, that's that, that's right. That's right. So there she goes. There she's in action. I'm going to get off of the screen. This is yeah, this is the first time actually we're engraving this logo. So hopefully it will come out. <laughs> we haven't tried so it before. You guys, Emily just sent us this logo like 20 minutes ago. So we hope well, it's going to come out perfect, not stretched or anything. That's and that's not her fault. That's my fault. I asked for it 20 minutes ago. She sent it to us I right away as soon as we asked. I have tested it, so it should be it should be just fine. It's looking good. Yeah, so far it, it is good. looking good. Mm -hmm. What speed are you running at? Do you want to tell the folks? Yeah, I'm, the running, I'm running it at 300 um, millimeters per second. Sure, uh, this is your coffee. At 60 percent power, just to be on the safe side, you can probably run it faster, and it's at uh, lower power. Our mirror seven is 60 watt uh, laser. It's a 60 watt. Yeah, and I'm using uh, 0 0.06 millimeters as an interval. Yeah. So now you could see the place where um, a standard rotary would struggle, where that handle would kind of make the cup want to shift and want to slip. But because of this, um, because of this design, we've got the clamp increasing the friction. We have the uh, the Pyburn tires now making a lot of contact with that cup. There's just no slipping. It's perfectly smooth. If you also notice on the left of your screen. There is a little stopper. 
That's been a lifesaver on, on roller rotaries. So there's a stopper at the back preventing any shifting. That's what we call it walking. So you don't want the cup to go to have any horizontal movement like that. So there's a roller stopper on, on the back preventing that. And what you don't see is there is another stopper on the front, which is also that one stopper has like 20 different moving pieces, right? That's really <laughs> – that that one stopper, it's like a thing. four thicket. or five. Yeah. So it's, it's this big, and it's made of four or five components. It's it's a tiny little stopper. It's really um, – it, it, it's really, really cool thing of beauty. You don't see it right now. It's it's blocked by the cup. But that's preventing – I'll show it. That's preventing, um, that's preventing the cup from shifting towards the wheels. So now um, – I think it's looking really nice. This came is, out perfect. Is. So even yeah. with a handle, you don't need to take it, take that handle off. Stan, uh, we got another question here. Is there going to be like an upgrade kit? Like if you have a V4, do you have to get a V5 or can you like upgrade and like, you know? So because this is a completely different platform, you'll see that this, that this is completely redesigned. So in, in okay. the past, I think it's a very fair question. I think it's yeah. a very fair one to ask. Because in the past, we've offered customers an upgrade option whenever humanly possible. We wanted them to be able to upgrade. In this case, the thing has been completely redesigned because the, the, the drive system is totally different. The lift mechanism is totally different. And the rail, there's nothing you can recycle from the old version at all. So the rail's got a linear rail, remember? So we never have to align the wheels to the back wheels, the wheels to the, uh, to the tower. The complete stru the structure is completely different, so there's uh, absolutely no way we can have any sort of upgrade path. This is completely brand new. I agree, Mary. No other rotary compares, <laughs> like a sports car. Yeah, it's got that Ferrari feel. Len really did a great job with the wheels and the whole look and feel of this. It's so just sleek. You know, yeah, looks so, really good. So this looks amazing. This looks really nice, Len. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, that's in. perfect. Yeah, and it's really. Nice. Len, do you have any tips for makers to to get the placement of the logo as perfect as you got on the on the rotary? Um, it's really up to the person, you know, where you want to see it. I, I just placed it on this side. Uh, you can place it on the other side or both sides actually probably will be even better. You know, Emily, do you ever get this question? You know what a question we get sometimes? And I, th I think it's a fascinating question is like, if you're going to engrave the logo of your brand, where should you engrave it? Um, on the side where you're drinking from or on the other side outward to you? Um, and this is something what, what, I, what I, am, you I actually ask people, I'm like, do you, where do you, do you want it? So you could when you're drinking out of it or do you want it on that on the outside um and uh, like when i am um <clears throat> when i if it's a specifically if it's stanley i do it on the other side because i i think it just i don't like that i don't like both the logo and the thing on the same side but it, yeah. if it doesn't have a logo then i just let them pick um but in general if it's I should take that back. If it's a friend and they're like a local order, I let them pick because I'm communicating with them. If it's just an order on the website, I put it on the outside because I think it's nice that when you're drinking it, people, if you're right-handed, right? Because right? um, it, it lefty righty it. also matters. That's another caveat. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is so clean. Well, unless it specifically says I'm left-handed and I want it on, you know, whatever side. Nobody really does that though. So we're just looking at this engraved. So, so I, I just heard a really interesting answer. Can I share it with you guys? Um, mm -hmm. so, so someone told me this. So if you are uh, doing promotional items, so if you're doing a Tumblr with your own company logo, let's say you're let that mom with a laser logo, um, and you're it's a promotional item, you're giving it away, you want the logo facing your customer or, your, or, or the, the person you're, you're doing it for because then they associate the brand and they have that connection. But if you're, if you're, if you're doing, um, you know, if you're like doing a lot of podcasts and it's a low, it's, it's, you're doing the cup for yourself and you're going to use it, then obviously do it on the other side so that the camera sees your logo. So, so I, I thought that was pretty, I thought that was a pretty interesting, uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting observation. So I always think about where we're going to engrave it. This one is for a righty and facing you. Yeah. I just want to show close up how, I mean, I'm just amazed. How clean it's it's how super clean. I mean, I think. You know, the the fact that there's you know even further gear reduction here. 
Uh, it's frozen. Oh, here we go. Can Michelle, you, can you focus Michelle, wants yeah. Michelle wants to know what customer service is available, girlfriend. The best customer service you could possibly ask for. You want to talk about it, uh, Stan? Yeah. So, so this is something we um, we think about a lot, right? Our success metrics. Let me start at the top really quickly because this is probably like the most important question. Our success metrics. It's very important to understand our success metrics. How we measure how good we're doing is not how many gadgets we ship or we sell. That's not the success metric. It's not how much revenue we book in a year. That's not the success metric. We're not a public company. We don't need to worry about that. Our success metric is how many people we help. That's what we care about. It's the underlying, like it's, that's the underlying driver to this business. How many people we can help? You know what bothers me? It bothers me when somebody purchases a pie burn and it sits in the box. It bothers yeah. me. <laughs> I will bug people and I will say, you know, can you open it up? Can you just plug it in? I just want to see you do it. So it's how many people we help. And if we sell a lot of units and we say, okay, good luck. You're on your own. Figure it out. Are we going to help more people or less people? Well, we're going to help less people. So this is why we take such pride in seeing you through because we do care. We want you to succeed. We want to help you. So we are personally involved in customer service. <laughs> personally, we have we have Don who um, who lives in the Pyburn Labs forum and answers questions all, almost immediately. And then, of course, really, really important and can't be um, underscored enough, the community. The community helps each other. So we are literally that this the, the the sort of care and empathy that you foster, Emily, in your group. We're trying to do the same thing in our group. We are stronger together. We're bigger together. Let's not compete against each other. Let's help each other grow. Why? Because as we are more successful and as you guys are more successful, guess what? The market grows. The, the, the market itself has become more accustomed to these types of products. The demand grows. And now there's more for you, for me, for them, for everyone. So as you help each other, you're actually helping yourself. So the, the community really feels that. And we have people asking questions and they're answered like, boom, like that. And then if it's really difficult, if, if there's an issue with the product, you, you file a support ticket and we're there. Or Don will answer right on the, right on the, right on the forum. If there's a, a question you have on settings and there's no issue with the product, we're helping you because that's all part of the journey. That's all part of your journey to succeed. So we do take that very seriously. I know I've been going on for a long time, but I can't underscore this enough how important that piece of the business is to us oh i i can i can okay i one i totally agree you just everything you said was like i'm shaking my head because it's like yes 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 you guys often hear me say um you know we attract what we are and we repel what we're not and i feel very strongly that when you serve everyone okay jim Rohn, he says you can have everything you want in your life if you help enough people get what they want and so I feel that it's a, it's a testament to my brand when I when I give great customer service because it it multiplies what I do. you know when I see you guys saying out there wow that mom with a laser helped me do this they helped me do this lens digital helped me do this help me do this it shows that the company cares that's serving their community and that is invaluable and it's one of the reasons why our businesses have been so successful because at the heart of what we do always focused on serving you. OK, because guess what? Growing a business can be challenging. There's going to be a lot of haters. There's going to be a lot of downtime. All right. But you know what we do? We get laser focused on who we serve. Don't get distracted by the distractions. And a lot of times you can turn a customer around just with great customer service. And they go from being somebody who's had a hard time with you to being the most loyal customer you have ever had just because you gave them great customer service. So. Uh, I know this is all about the pie bird and a great equipment, but there, there are lessons here for our own personal businesses. Try not to get offended right away when somebody sends you a, a message or a nasty email. Cause you know, we get, we get, uh, we get unhappy customers. I got an un unhappy customer right now in my inbox, but guess what? Yep. I'm going to listen to what they listen. I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. I'm going to remove the emotion out of it and I'm going to serve my customer.
right? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent there, but it's important. No, but it's so, so good. important. It's such an important piece. It's like, it's like half of it, you know? That, that, that is half of it. It's not just hardware. It's not just like the trinkets people sell. It's not, it's, it's, it's what, how you see your customer through. And just recently we've started to get more and more of these questions, which is awesome. I mean, we've never had these questions before, but now we're getting people asking, Hey, how do I build a successful business? You know, you guys mm -hmm. have really made a mark on the industry. How did you do that? How, how can I do the same thing? And there's, there's, there's many things, right? But the one thing, and you're talking on a messenger. So you want to kind of give them the, the, the main idea very quickly. And the one thing I tell people is the best investment you can make is develop empathy to your customer. Develop a true deep down empathy to the person you're serving. Actually feel like they're hiring you to solve a problem. That way, not only is your product going to be good, because then your product is going to be thoughtful about what it is that they need. Maybe they need they have a birthday party and they need a sign. It could literally be anything, right? Or they want to make that special teacher feel really, really great with something beautiful and custom and thoughtful. So they have a problem. And if you develop an empathy for that, not only is your, your, your product going to be good, your customer service is going to be good because you're going to want to see them through. I just love it. You guys may, you see, you see why I love Lens Digital? There, there's, there's nothing, there's no one like them. I love you guys. All right, so we got a couple of questions. I'm going to scroll up, see if I can find them because I'm starring them so I can go back to them. Um, here we go. Oh, I, I don't think so. Just wondering if you have time frame where the pattern will work with an X tool. Ooh, does it? So, so there's there's an X tool that it's compatible with right now. The CO2 X tool is plug and play. We check that at the next little conference. It seems to be working, yeah. So at least we, we didn't actually try burning anything, but it turns. It we works. plugged it in and it turns. So I know the CO2 <laughs> one works. Maybe the question is about diodes. Yeah, <laughs> I think the, I think they're asking about the D one. Sure. Is it D one? Can we scroll up to see what the question is? Oh. Emily, do you All see right. a question about X tool on your end? Oh, you want me to go back to it? I uh -oh. can't. I, um, I don't think I can scroll up. No, it's okay. It's so, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So look, so it's we think it's compatible. I know it's not a great answer, but we tried it and it turns on the X tool CO2. It is not compatible yet with the diode lasers. Okay. We are expanding right. into that. It's taking us a while. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to hear from you guys. Like, how important is that? Is that market for is, is, is that market like how how do, do you want us to be compatible with the diode lasers x tool because we sometimes we get questions we, with everything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we all do everybody right. wants a time <sighs> yeah so all I right think, i think next okay. year is going to be the year where we where we finally okay. get yeah. where we finally get diodes yeah all right i have a few questions that people pre-submitted so i want to make sure we get to that we only have three um can I throw them at you really quick? Is that okay, guys? Bring it on. Yeah, All right. Course. So we got, what's the best way to, to ensure that your grip and rotary is always aligned? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> you have any tips there, guys? Always aligned. Cal calibra cal calibration tumbler, I would say. So, so this, so I think the question is, how do you make sure that your rotary is always aligned to the gantry of the laser, right? There's because there's a couple of things we mean when we say align it. Yeah. Sometimes your wheels need to be aligned to the to the back wheel, which is which is why we eliminated that with the linear rail. I think the question is more, Emily, how do you make sure it's always aligned to the gantry so that your images aren't skewed? Yeah. So something like that. And I, right? I think it really depends on your laser like every laser is designed differently so there's different tricks like on my Mira I yeah. line it up with a little lip there and then I know it's always straight but that little lip is not on every other laser so it is going to be like a laser specific kind of thing to do all right here's another one what are some common questions oh, new oh, really quick. ask oh go ahead so, yeah so what the way to make it to make your life much easier is to get this alignment tumbler and you throw this alignment tumbler right on the laser and you run it down this line, this perfectly straight line that we calibrated. And then that's how you will know that your laser is always aligned. So that's a, that's an easy trick for that works on any laser. And this thing is like what? 20 bucks. 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks on the website. We ship it right to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So this person's asking, how can I get a t-shirt and hat? You know what? That's a great question. Could we could we do two two prizes today, guys? Uh, I, Heather, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, so merch. 
that's a Heather question. She's responsible for all the merch. And if I if okay. I do something, she will say that Stan went rogue and kill me. Okay. So I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna answer the next question, and then I'm gonna get clearance from from Heather. Okay. So here's the next question. Somebody pre-submitted this one. This one is Meredith. What are some common questions new customers ask about your product? Okay, so so this is a good question. So we actually have a fact, which is a list of the really common questions. But if I had to pick one, I would say the first one is like, which rotary should I get? Mm -hmm. That is a super common question. Like you guys have um, three products. I'm not exactly sure. Should I get the grip? Should I get the pie burn or should I get the Omni? And the Omni, don't forget, is the one that has both grip and pie burn together. So it's a two drive system on one rail. It's like two rotaries in one. So that's the most common question. And, and the really quick answer is if you're doing um, large orders and if you, if you want to do tumblers that are pretty simple, kind of like this, and a lot of them, you're actually going to be great with the pie burn before. That is a phenomenal rotary. For large orders, there's almost nothing faster. It's like the gunslinger of rotaries. It is super fast to swap out tumblers. It's like, shh, shh, you're done. It, it's, it literally takes a second, you guys. So if you're doing 100 or more, some people have 2,000 orders. Some people literally have a 5,000 order, 5,000 tumbler order. And you need the, yeah, the, the, the time you're going to save is five or before. Now, if you're doing micro orders, if you're going like an Etsy and you have small batch orders, maybe one tumbler that's full wrap, um, you have very intricate designs. If you want to do handles, if you want to do really weird odd shaped items, basically if, if you want to increase dog balls, the range, dog, yeah. ball, oh, dog balls, thank you. I forgot about dog balls. And somebody actually asked a question before and I didn't have time to answer it, but dog balls, if you want to do really odd shaped items, like that big jug, I'm not going to bring it out now, Pyburn Grip is your friend, you guys. Pyburn Grip. Why? You can't do this. On a on a roller rotary, no matter how good it is, you won't you won't be able to do it. Now, and there's a couple of reasons why I'm not going to go into it, but one of them is it's going to sit much lower in the grip because this is the center of the grip. But if you're on the wheels, you're on top. Can you imagine the size of the laser you need to be able to do this when you're on the very very top of the ro rotary? So the grip makes the problem go away. It's right here. So if you want to do something like this, this is six pounds and twelve inches in diameter. You can't go without the grip. So that's kind of my answer. And if you want both, if you do have, you know, that's also a hat, apparently. So thank you, Elijah, for the demonstration. It's big. Uh, it's bigger than Len's head, which is which is which is massive. Um, so if you wanted to do both, if you want to do lo lo lots of big orders, like thousand cup orders, and you want to do odd shaped items, that's when you go for the Omni. It's a little bit more expensive, but that will give you assurance that you can pretty much do anything under the sun that's possible on a rotary. I have approval for a merch package. <laughs> Yay! <Well done>. All <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So oh, I hope I hope I hope that Heather is happy that we asked for approval. <laughs> I hope she like appreciates that Stan didn't go rogue. <laughs> oh, listen, listen. She will definitely appreciate that Stan did not go rogue. Okay. And see, they respect their team. They love their team. And and you you guys know like what what like to have a boss that like just doesn't include you in things that that you, you as part of your role, right? You guys are amazing. I love that you respect your team so much. All right, and, so. And when you say boss, you mean Heather. You mean Heather. So just to be clear. <laughs> yeah. I love her so much. Okay, so just a quick recap because we're coming up on an hour here. This has been a phenomenal demo, by the way. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us uh, your heart and your innovation and your amazing new product. We just love to support you guys. You support us and we support you. Um, so what we're gonna do is one, if you didn't know, okay, uh, Lens Digital is giving away their new V5 unreleased to the public, all right? And you can enter that giveaway. Let me pull up that banner. Where all my banners go? Here they are. By going to lasermakercon.com slash giveaway. You do have to be registered for the Laser Maker Con. So if we pull your name and we don't see that you're registered, next person. All right, so make sure you're registered for the conference. Otherwise, you won't qualify. Um, there is a show special. We'll send out an email right after this with your special code, $100 off, okay? Um, and now we are gonna do two giveaways, okay? So one lucky winner is going to get that beautiful tumbler. 
that Len just engraved live. So here's what I want you to do, all right? If you want the Tumblr, get active in the chat and say me, 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 me. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, Len and Stan, you guys get to pick the first name uh, and see who gets to be our lucky Tumblr winner. Who's it gonna be? Wait, we pick? That's so much pressure. Yeah, uh -oh. you're just, you're just gonna, the chat's gonna fly, it's gonna go crazy, and you're gonna try and catch a name, okay. and that's gonna be your winner. Ready? Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Ra ra random, Everybody random, go. random, mix it, mix it randomly right now. Mix it randomly, randomly, randomly. Wait, are we, stop. Are we, stop. Oh, stop. Who is that? Steve. Steve Lindquist. 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 Steve Lindquist. Yeah. Congratulations! Woo! Let's write that down because we're gonna forget. Steve Lindquist. Well, <laughs> Let's no, write that down right away. Here's, here's, here's what we're gonna do, Steve. We need you to email Lens Digital at Ready Go. Where are they emailing you? Oh, just do it. Just do it to uh, Len at lensdigital.com. Okay, so the, you're gonna. Right. You're gonna email no, no, this is for Len. this. This is for this. This is for this. This is for this. All right, and what we to do steve is we need you to give your name and address all your all your information so they can ship it right to you okay all right and now we're going to pick one more winner That's and that turn. winner is going to get a, a lens digital merch pack okay yeah. so they don't so have shirts, but they, got, they got other cool stuff so that's why we're calling your merch yeah. pack okay yeah. so we're going to pick another winner in just a minute so all right so if you want the merch pack all right in the comments, you're gonna say, "I love Lens Digital." <laughs> and we're gonna go Ooh, they have to type. Oh my God, you're making you're making them work now. You're making them type. Yeah, they gotta work for it. They gotta work for it. All right. So, if you want a merch pack, let us see it in the comments. I love Lens Digital. Or I, I love the butterfly. I love that one. Oh, and nice. do we know? Did Heather tell us what's included in the merch pack? It's a T-shirt, a no. hat. What are the cool things uh, that? Okay, you can already. Full lens digital merch. We don't know exactly what's in the pack, but it's gonna be awesome. We're, guys, guys, we're gonna make this really, really special. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure there's awesome stuff in the merch kit. You're gonna, you're gonna absolutely love it. All right, who are you gonna pick? All right, so do we, do we pick uh, Emily? Should we go and pick a random name? Same thing. Right. Let, the, the, the chat's so, flying. You gotta pick somebody. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like mix it up, go up and down like this, and Len, you tell, you say when to stop. You say when to stop. Stop. All right, so who is this? Michelle Keller Kellerman? Michelle oh, Kellerman. Yep. Awesome. Michelle Kellerman. Michelle. That's our I saw her name and it flew away. So Michelle Kellerman, congratulations. You're getting a merch kit from the one and only Lens Digital. Make sure that it's email <laughs> at Len, Len at lensdigital.com. Give them your yes. contact information so they can ship you your prize. Guys, this so was so exciting, awesome. You guys. This is so much fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yes. Oh my God. Let's do this every day. I'm telling you, these, <laughs> these panels have been fire. Like, I feel like this was almost one of my favorite things about this whole conference. So, thank you so much, uh, Len and Stan, for being here. Thank you guys for being here in our panel. Our next one is going to be at 12 o'clock, and that's all going to be about. Um, files and and product design so if you want to learn how to make your own files and do that kind of stuff don't miss the next panel at 12 p.m eastern today we have about six or seven lessons that have gone live on the site <clears throat> you get 24 hours to see them if you want if you don't want to you know if you want to watch them in the future grab the encore vip pass because everything will close and you won't have access to the lmc anymore after saturday night um, that's it. Okay. So grab your Encore VIP pass if you want lifetime access to everything. Otherwise, make sure you catch your lessons. You've got 24 hours for today's. Uh, we got some great speakers. We love you guys. Thank you, Lens Digital. And I'll see you Thank guys. You. At Thank you guys. Thank you guys for your Thank support. You. We love you. Thank you, Emily. Thank you.